Deborah, your reaction to this, shocking, isn't it? It's totally shocking. I mean, nobody can be expected to do very much at all in 15 minutes, but particularly in such an environment where you're going in to help people with very intimate things such as washing and getting dressed and getting to bed and, and even just eating. You've got to have the time to um, do those things and to get people's trust and to form a relationship with them. And it's as hard for the carer to do that as it is for the older person because with all these things you need time to establish that trust. And often the older person's quite lonely, they're looking forward to this person coming in. Um, when the person comes in, they're rushed, they can't do these jobs properly. Mm. And then it's hard for the carer as well because they're very stressed because they're rushing on to the next thing and they must feel terrible leaving them in that situation. Colin, you know that it's vitally important. I mean, we're hearing 15 minutes in this instance. Others are saying 10, maybe just five minutes. Right. How frustrating is it for your members and where do they lay the blame? Well, clearly, very, very frustrating for everybody, including the people who use the service and the care workers. Um, I think what we're seeing is uh, local authority budgets that are severely stretched, insufficient funding from central government, and I'm afraid not enough oversight of uh, how councils are commissioning home care services for older people. Local government, local government authority spokesman said adult social care funding is in crisis. It's vital for our elderly population that government urgently addresses this so they're passing the buck upwards if you like do you think in the meantime though local authorities should be in charge of this or not well local authorities are in charge of commissioning services but we think they need uh, oversight from a statutory regulator that would be the care quality commission uh, we're urging government to um, make that commitment uh, a reality okay uh, we've had loads of messages on this, and to say loads is not an understatement. A lot of people care about this. Phil on Facebook, my mother is a home care worker, and because of all the time limits and changes made to save the council money, the standard of care, you can't really call it care anymore, he says, has dropped dramatically. Uh, Mandy used to be a care worker, was forced to leave the job she loved due to a lack of care towards service users. And as Colin touched on there, it's going to be frustrating for people because, by and large, they want to do the job properly, and they're having to leave before they've even had a chance. Absolutely. I mean, home care workers do the most amazing job. And it's, you know, they, they want to do it with dignity and they want to do it with as much care as they can. And if you're only leaving them 10 or 15 minutes to do that job, you can't possibly do it. Do you think the wider population really gets this, just how important this is, especially as we have an ageing population? Well, I think it, it depends where you're at in your life and, and what experience you've had of this. I mean, I think those of us who have elderly relatives will have had experience of it, but other people don't. And... One of the things we talk about a lot on the website is the need to sort of even think about this ahead and, and plan for it. And before you get to a position where you, you need care, it's a good idea to think about what type of care you might want and how you might fund that in the future. So what, Colin, perhaps not trust that the local authority, the government, is going to pay for your care? Do you think people that's, should be looking that, forward to real, doing this in th themselves? That's a real message that the public need to understand. Yeah. Social care is not free. It's not like the NHS. People are going to start needing to make their own provision. But we can't continue to have a system uh, funded by local government in the way that it is. Dee says on Facebook, I've done home caring. I really loved it and would work as a home carer again. It is the best job in the world. OK, I've had a few clients where nothing is good enough for them. But other than that, my other clients were grateful. Finally, uh, uh, that is the most frustrating thing about this, Deborah, isn't it? They love the job when they're allowed to do it properly. Absolutely. You know, this is vocation for people, and people do it because they do genuinely care. And for the older people as well, it's a real lifeline. You know, they look forward to these people coming in all day. And if they can only get them for a few minutes, it's, it's disappointing for, for both the older person and the carer, and that's what's so tragic about it. 